First things first, I'm gonna put another coat of this 511 sealer on here, and then I'll wipe the excess back after about 10 minutes. I'm gonna let that sit for a few hours, and then I'm gonna come back and do a second coat. We might even do three coats. So this is the Riyadh floor design. It's a cement tile. That's why we're having to do all these steps, but once we get this all done, it's extremely durable, even more so than like a porcelain tile. Last a long, long time. While I'm waiting on Sealer to dry in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get this East Lake mirror framed up. Jamie found an old mirror for $15 down at the thrift store and it is the right size. Saves us probably about $100 thrifting it. I love these drywall T-squares. So great for getting straight lines. All right, I'm gonna line this up to the edge of the table. And we will see, I get one shot at this, we will see if I win. Oh ho 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 ho! So this is the tricky part. This is the part where I actually usually break the mirror because I stapled the mirror instead of stapling the backer. This is just the backer off of that other mirror. I cut it down to size and we're gonna make that work. I stopped by and Zeb put me to work. Second coat of sealer is going on this floor and then we'll be ready to get everything set up. I think we're gonna go ahead and do a total of three coats of sealer because everything I've heard said you really want to seal your cement tile well so that way you can get it clean. This is gonna be the shelving for the cabinet that we're putting back behind. Jamie's sanding away on the shelf supports. They got rough splintery edges, so we gotta get that off. All right, Zeb and I are tag teaming. I've got DIY paint stark and decrepit. It's a water-based stain. You can also use it as a glaze. Has a built-in sealer. So I'm gonna brush this on and Zeb's gonna fall behind me and wipe it back. We only have to do one side of these because these are the supports. The almost. other side goes against the wall. Okay, almost lost it there. All right, I'll let you wipe that back and then We'll do the edges. We only need to do the front and underneath, right? Yeah. Flip them upside down and then I'll brush the bottoms. The nice thing about Dark and Decrepit is that it's all natural, water-based, and you don't have to wait 24 hours for it to dry. It dries in 20 or 30 minutes and has a built-in top coat. Also, cleanup is easy. Just soap and water and you're good to go. These are the windows that we're using for the cabinet doors. I'm gonna be using one coat of white swan just to give it a cohesive look with the rest of the bathroom and not to compete with the other wood tones going on with the shelves and the mirror. Here's a fun little speed square tip for you. My miter saw is over at the shop because I'm framing a bunch of signs with it and I need to get a real nice square cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this here, keep my hand way out of the way, nice and flush right on the line where I need it to be and run this and use this as a guide. There we go. Perfectly square cut. We're using big seven inch molding all around the baseboards. And this is just MDF. I'm just painting it with this foam roller to match the wall paint. And should dry up pretty quick. I'll be able to nail it up here in about a half hour. Just a couple little plumbing things left to chase, and this bathroom will be functional. All right, 
let's turn on the cold. All right, it's the moment of truth. Check down below, do we have any leaks? I'm using the multi-function tool so that I can just zip right around here real close because you want your toilet flange to sit on the top surface of your flooring. I have a metal strap down below to keep me from being able to push this too far down. All right, so I set a new wax ring on the bottom of this. Hopefully those bolts come through just like they're supposed to. This is a really exciting moment here. I'm gonna turn the water on and then we will flush the toilet. No water is leaking, so Zeb attached it properly. Oh, water coming in. It must have had some sort of cleaner in there, it's blue. This is actually the toilet that they had in the house. It's the only thing we saved from the original bathroom because it was not very old and super clean. And I actually really do like the toilet bowl shape. It's kind of smaller and it's an elongated toilet, which is something Zeb wanted. We still have the tub. Yeah, oh, we still have the tub. So we saved the tub and the toilet. All right, the very first toilet flush. Do it. Ta-da! We have a working toilet. <laughs> but we ha do we have toilet paper? We don't have toilet paper. We don't have a fan or lights or a door. <laughs> but the toilet flushes. Now that we know it flushes good, I'm just gonna caulk around the edge. Just got a damp sponge. These old windows are about to become covered doors. I've got to distress them up. I'm going to seal them with some big top and then I will start framing that cabinet out and putting the shelves in. Just using a damp cloth to get the excess paint where, off of where I don't want it on this copper here. I'm using DIY big top and a Wooster foam brush to seal this up. The Wooster foam brush is going to help not get any brush strokes in there. And the big top will have a nice satin finish. It'll be very durable and wipeable in the bathroom. All right, so we got toilet down there and cabinet up here. So while we're waiting on cabinet doors to dry, I'm gonna start putting these shelves up. Gonna be hanging these covered doors slash windows. I've just got a 3 8 countersink here. Running a two inch screw right into the shiplap. Plug the 3 8 holes. calling this week six because I had to take a week and a half off to work on the shop. But it's the best because we have a toilet that flushes. Yeah, 
I'm pretty excited about that. No more trips to the park because it's me here during the day and I'm like, off I go to the park bathroom. We better get that door up. For the paint products that we use, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.